Hello, welcome to Asante Academy of Chinese Medicine. I'm Dr. Ke. Chinese herbs, as people know, in the West, you know, using lots of uh, various plants and uh, animal products or some kind of minerals. But of course, and uh, uh, what, what are these? Then you know, how can they be Chinese herbs? So the Chinese herbs are actually sort of a, it's quite broad uh, concept. We have a, you know almost ten thousand plants we use, and uh, uh, and each plant there are different usage from the the root, the flowers, the the seeds, the branches, many things all can be used as a medicine and uh, and so also some animal products such as like say chicken or such as like you know uh, a pearl powder or something of course historically there are you know there are some kind of we call endangered species animal has been used like tiger bone but now that's been illegal for using them in china since china sort of uh, signed the international convention to to protect the endangered species animal so therefore it is illegal so the good chinese doctor never should not use them for myself i never used them for all my practice more than 30 40 years now so this is a chinese medicine and uh, although they have a many sort of uh, plants many 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 sort of uh, animal products or even minerals but how do we use them this is a very interesting thing because in the Western medicine and uh, they analyze all the sort of, uh, you know, simple the chemical compounds of the, what kind of sort of a, sort of material used as a medicine and what their function and uh, especially to make them very, very clearly, you know, isolated single compound. But Chinese medicine don't use it this way. We believe all the plants, you know, if they can be eaten by people, uh, such as like a rice or or like say apple it's not simply rice just only provide sort of starch or sugar but there are many other things so therefore the chinese herbs we use the plants as a whole and um, so therefore we don't i don't we don't think just simply isolate individual ingredients or to eat it as not just not good enough and secondly which is most important the chinese herbs they are sort of a using we 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 sort of classify chinese herbs according to the our sort of philosophy and they make them sort of classify them into like say hot sort of warm cold or cool it's kind of quality because we believe all the plants have this kind of different quality because they grow in different season different place and different geography in you know in geographic sort of position so they would have a different quality so that's why we use them to balance our body according to our body whether it's hot and cold or, or, 